a cryptid Black Friday. In the dim light before dawn, the line snaked around the corner of Megalomart, a monolith of consumerism that beckoned the masses with the siren call of slashed prices and limited time offers. It was Black Friday, a day when human avarice thickened the air, so palpable it could be cut with the box cutters used to open pallets of discounted electronics. But this year, the clientele was different. Interspersed with the crowd were creatures of lore, the cryptids, who emerged from their hidden realms with a hunger for deals that matched their more traditional appetites. First in line was a creature named Barguest, the black dog of retail doom, whose eyes glowed with a spectral light fixated on the doorbusters. His ethereal drool pooled upon the concrete as whispers of electronics doom circulated among the shivering crowd. Behind him, the Mothman flittered anxiously, his red eyes darting towards the outdoor lights. His myth was one of prophecy, and he foretold the coming of the ultimate sale, limited edition lamps at an irresistible 90% off. Skulking in the shadows was Jibba Fofi, the giant spider cryptid, her many eyes fixated on the silken garments on sale, her webbed purse at the ready. Not all were there for tangible goods. The Noperabo, faceless spirits, hovered near the makeup counter, seeking the contour kits that promised the illusion of human features. As the clock struck the opening hour, the doors were flung open and the mob surged forth, a grotesque parade of human and non-human shoppers, all jostling for the bounty within. The scene inside was a cacophony of shrieks and electronic beeps. The bar guest lunged for the electronics aisle, his massive form knocking over displays. Each item he touched sparked and fizzled, cursed to malfunction before the warranty could expire. Mothman, true to his prophecies, found his lamps, but his excitement was his downfall. Each bulb he touched burst in a puff of smoke, leaving him in a dark cloud of his own tragic irony. Jebba Fofi maneuvered her bulk through the clothing racks, her long legs entangling shoppers in silk threads. Each garment she touched was woven into her own expansive attire, a kleptomaniacal seamstress with a taste for human fashions. The Nopera Bow, in their quest for faces, caused the most unsettling of disruption. Their blank visages, or lack thereof, sent cosmetics clerks into fainting spells, makeup brushes clattering to the floor. In electronics, a pair of Loveland frogs, amphibious cryptids with a penchant for gadgets, dueled with selfie sticks, each vying for the last smartphone. And there, amidst the chaos, was the Wendigo, an epitome of insatiable greed. It was said that the Wendigo grew with every item it consumed, never fulfilled. Its hollow eyes scanned the aisles, and with each product it devoured, it swelled, its form growing more grotesque and distended. A human shopper, one Mrs. Hattie Witherspoon, stumbled upon the scene, her arms laden with half-price blenders and questionably discounted toasters. Her gaze met the Wendigo's, and in that moment, she saw not a monster, but a reflection. With a trembling hand, she offered the creature a blender. The Wendigo paused, then with a gnarled claw, gently accepted the gift. The clock ticked on, and as the sale hours waned, the cryptids found themselves laden with goods they couldn't possibly use. Barguest's electronics lay in a heap of sparks. Mothman's lamps were a shattered memory. Jebba Fofi's fashion ensemble rendered her immobile, and the Loveland Frog's smartphone screens were hopelessly cracked. The No Para Bow, however, had found a semblance of joy. 
Their faces, painted by the unconscious clerks, were grotesque parodies of humanity. But in their smooth features, there was a hint of satisfaction. As the sun rose, casting a harsh light on the aftermath, the cryptids slunk away, their human counterparts trudging behind them, laden with goods soon to be forgotten or discarded. Mrs. Witherspoon, her arms now empty, watched them go. She felt lighter somehow, unburdened. She turned her back on the wreckage of consumer war and made her way home. Her heart strangely full. For in the end, the cryptids of Black Friday taught a lesson to those willing to see. That greed, be it in man or monster, was a hunger that no sail could sate.